What is up cuties? It is your girl Justina and welcome back to Real Life Jones. Oh man y'all, I'm, I'm sorry I was gone for as long as I was. I wasn't supposed to be gone that long. I really wasn't. I don't, I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. I had a moment. I had a moment. I had a moment. June was like a rough one for me. It really was. It was it was a rough one for me and I don't know why. I was doing good. I think maybe if we like look back on one of the videos in May, maybe that'll the last video in May that that might yeah. Oh my god. How am I missing a 50? Cause I was kind of upset about something in that video. I can't remember what it was, but I know I was kind of upset about something in that video. Kind of just mindset boom. And I think I was kind of burnt out too. <sighs> Either way, I am back as you all can see. I did post that video from June. Yes, that because that was the very last video <laughs> that I recorded. The very last video. I and I think I also it was like maybe like God was trying to tell me I need to sit down or something because I was doing a lot and a lot was happening around that time and it was just like girl girl I don't know, I don't know. But I did, I, I believe I did update you guys in like a couple of the July videos as to what was going. I did switch up my budgeting supplies. So my budgeting supplies, I got new pens, new highlighters. Um, I am using, I am now using the um, happy planner i'm back to using the budget mom the budget mom's paycheck budget sheets I'm, I'm back to using that the reason for that is because it just seem it just works better for me i i felt myself getting flustered and i don't know if you guys heard it in any like in the videos where i was like oh i hope i'm doing this right oh i hope i'm doing this right like i don't like i don't this is my journey right this is my journey i'm coming to you all and showing you the raw <laughs> the raw deal of budgeting you know so i don't want to like i'm not editing out as much and i'm not you know like i'm not doing a budget ahead of time to make sure that i come to you all like i'm perfect like that's no that's not happening that's that's not <laughs> no i mean i did once because i wanted to make sure i was right but if this is my journey you're gonna see the raw of it so yeah yeah other budget book like i just didn't feel like it worked for me so like it, it had, it's a great budget book. It's a great budget book. I still have it linked down in the description box for anybody who wants to use it and purchase it to support, not me, cause it, I didn't create it, but <laughs> to support the creator of the um, budget book. But I am going to be, I'm continuing to use the budget mom. I, that, that works for me. In all of my other videos, I did start doing separate accounts 
for like I have a bill account and I have a spend account. Um, my Chime account is my bill account and my regular bank is my spend account because I notice that when I feel like I have the money but don't have the money, I'm like, oh, okay, all the bills are paid, yeah, whoop, whoop. But then you got that one bill, sorry if my plant, <laughs> she's like bouncing up and down because my hair, sorry boo. My accounts, when I had just the one account, I would have to sit and wait for money to come out of that account to basically be able to do anything. And I was like, yeah, no, and I couldn't be able to do that because some bills were on auto pay. For example, my internet bill, it's on auto pay. That bill is supposed to come out on the 7th of every month. It does not come out on time. They take their money literally the next day. Like, if you are getting, if you, if I have my stuff on auto pay, it should not be coming out on the 8th. <laughs> It should be coming out on the 7th, not the 8th, on the 7th. And don't let the 7th fall on a Friday. That means the money ain't coming out until the 8th. So that was a problem for me. I would sit here and think, oh yeah, I got some extra money. Meanwhile, I don't. And then I end up going and overspending, not giving myself a budget and just overspending on things. So that leads into cash stuffing. I did get new cash envelopes as well. I got new cash envelopes. Um, I, I'm hoping <laughs> that I narrowed them down to at least the most important, my everyday on the go envelopes. If not, I will have to my everyday on the go envelopes and also my um, sinking funds, my my high priority sinking funds or maybe like my savings challenges. I may have to, I'm still teetering with that. I'm still teetering with that. Like my everyday envelopes would obviously have to be grocery, eat out, um, grocery eat out home toiletries that would be like the main though that would probably be like the main envelopes that I need in my pink binder and then I did get new ones for my savings challenges um I also added toiletries because toiletry and household or, you know, toiletries, I kind of, I was like, okay, that could be like, of course that is for in the household, but I switched it. I was like, oh, toiletries should literally just be for toilet paper, paper towels, um, anything that the household needs, paper plates, stuff like that. But household should literally be like laundry money to go on my laundry card, that type of thing. I think I'm going to, I think in one of the videos I had moved my um, personal envelope into the high priority sinking fund because I am a sinking fund bed <laughs> but I'm also high priority and I know in the beginning when I first started I was saying oh I'm gonna give myself $40 I'm gonna give myself $40 I had to cut back on that because I was getting that $40 and I was trying to I was doing a good job at like not using it but it would be like three, four days later or four weeks later where I'm like, oh, I got that $40 in there, let me spend that. <laughs> and then it would all be gone. But I do wanna save for something. I wanna save for some perfume, I wanna save for some jewelry. Like I wanna get myself some stuff, but how can I do that if I am not saving my money? And I'm just spending it, you know? How, how can I do that? Um, I did do something to where 
I did do a video where I was like, oh, let me sit down and, you know, try to update you guys on financial goals. <laughs> I didn't like how that video turned out. So I am not going to be uploading that. Um, another update. Oh, guys, so my daughter has been catching on to what I've been doing. She hasn't been budgeting, but she has been very helpful when whenever we go into stores and of course i have my list of things that i need but if we get off track she'll be like oh yeah no that's not what we came in here for <laughs> that's not what we came in here for which was a shock to me because she is the main one who's like oh yeah i want this i want this and just throwing things in the cart she's gotten better at just like not throwing things in the cart and saying oh yeah i need this 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 and this you know she's getting better at coming to me with planning oh let can i do this next payday or at the end of the month or i do need this can you add this to the list for the next time you go shopping blah 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 she's just bad at the eating out part just like me She's bad at the eating out part. I mean, you know, can you say my boo loves to eat, right? I'm also eating graham crackers. <laughs> my financial goals, like think some things have changed and some things haven't changed. Um, my savings challenges, huh? So, but I can't really be upset about this. So I did take the money that was that we had saved in the beginning from the dollar challenge, which I am still doing. I'm rebuilding that. The $25 challenge, I am still doing that. I'm rebuilding that. Those challenges, I am still doing them. I had just gotten nervous because I didn't want money like large amounts of money sitting in the house and i know it went into the house savings but things were needed the school year is coming up i have just decided to i was like you know what right now it's not it's like yet yeah, i am upset because the 25 dollar savings is for the house so i'm partially upset simply because the $25, again, is for the house, and I put that in there, but that money did get, ended up getting needed. So in June, I did end up touching all of that savings. Um, I think I'm like at $500 now, which isn't bad, because before I was at 1,000, and I was push pushing 2,000, but who's, who says I can't get back there, you know? It's only July. I can get back there. You know, especially since I'm on it now. Birthdays are next month. So, <laughs> birthdays are next month. Next month is August. I did plan out, partially plan out the month of August. I did do that. Um,. It's not completely planned out, but I do have some things booked and scheduled already. She goes back to school August 23rd, which is her B-Day. That's my baby. Off to the eighth grade. That is one thing. Her hair appointment is scheduled. I did order school shirts. Y'all, let me tell you, mini story time. So, <laughs> I ordered school shirts from Kohl's, right? And I picked a size large 14 16 okay which i think i'm going to when that money gets put back on my card i think i'm just going to get her some boy shirts because yeah the girl sizes are looking a bit small but um i went and i purchased some shirts from kohl's and they were the girl shirts you know it said between sizes 4 and 20 which means her size is in there. <laughs> so I ordered a large 14, 16. Why did they send me a large 10, 12? I, 
had a little ink link that I was like, oh my God, I hope these shirts are not the wrong shirts. Oh my God, I hope they're not too small. It was like as the time was approaching for them to be delivered, I was just like, oh yeah, I feel like they're gonna be the wrong size. They're gonna be too small and I'm gonna have, I've wasted $138. y'all you sent they sent me a size 10 12. i pulled that shirt out of the pack and i was like my baby's arms is husky her upper half is husky she ain't fitting no 10 12 that would have been a belly shirt on her i'm like y'all are playing with me i took them things back today refund me <laughs> refund me the only thing that i don't like is like in order to do a return i mean i believe they said you could have done it online but they also told me oh you can do it go take your stuff in store and do an exchange come to find out they don't carry that brand of shirts in stores they carry them only online make it make sense <laughs> make it make sense so i have to wait the guy said 24 hours so the money might be on my car tomorrow highly doubt it but because tomorrow is sunday so i'll give it monday or tuesday and then i gotta order more yeah Fantastic, right? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Just great. Just great. Life life has just been lifing. <laughs> I disappeared, but it wasn't my fault. I got sat down, you know? I got sat down. Maybe I was just doing too much. Maybe, maybe that's what it was, you know? But in the meantime, in between time, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, I lost a few subscribers, it's okay. I'm back, I'm going to be editing and uploading and getting videos back out for you guys and hopefully meet some new friends. So in the meantime, in between time, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.